Grace and peace to all the beloved brethren. I'm convinced that there is only one gospel into salvation, and I pray that you are too. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Belief is All. Today, we're talking about repenting of your sins. I'm sure we've all heard that one before, or maybe you said it yourself. What if I told you that that wasn't just wrong, but a deceitful twisting of the word that will send people to hell? That's no exaggeration. Hear the word of the Lord. Mark chapter 1, verse 15 And saying, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Now, I know the title promised a question that would expose why repenting your sins is no good. And believe me, we'll get to it. But first, let's break down the common thought, point out why it's wrong, and then bring it home with a damning query. So this is popular nomenclature. Repenting your sins, which I will hereafter call Roy's, it's Christianity 101, right? You can go that route if you want to, but I go to the word. And the word tells me that the only way to heaven is to believe in Jesus. My previous video goes into detail and provides several verses about this, but for the purpose of this video, we'll only put out the big one. John 3.16 We all know it, we all quote it, but people who talk about Roy's don't even believe in John 3.16. In fact, if John 3.16 conformed to their churchianity, it would read, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever does works and stays sinless shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's bull. The text says believe. Belief is what leads to eternal life. No change in life. No refraining from sins. No giving up of lies. No church affiliation. No nothing. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved in your whole household. That's what's true. And if you have a problem with that, you have a problem with the Bible, the word of God, Jesus. Let those with ears to hear do so. So that's the common thought and why it's wrong. So let's say that either you're watching this video and you're still not convinced or you're dealing with Roy's folk hereafter who would tell you you're wrong or evil for not thinking repentance is of sins. Here's what I asked for the former and what you can ask the latter. The question is, if repentance is of sins then why does God repent? Oh, whoa, 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 don't backtrack or double talk now. You knew what you were thinking when you were angrily typing up your comment. But that's the question Roy's folk got to answer. What, you don't believe that God ever repented? That's okay, here's your proof right here. Exodus 32 and 14, the Lord repents of the destruction which he thought to do unto his people. The Lord found the Israelites' thoughts and actions to be evil and worthy of destruction. Who else can judge a heart worthy of destruction but God? Is God's judgment a sin? Surely you don't think that. There's Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 28. Here God says he won't repent when he's fully ready to pour out judgment. Judgment is in the hand of God. Again, are you going to tell me that his judgment is a sin? I surely hope not. There's a few more occurrences, and they're mostly just recaptures on uh, what I've already pointed out, but you get the idea. If repentance is of sins, then that would make God a sinner because God repents, and that's a violation of God's character. Blasphemy. So therefore, repentance must mean something else, and I'll tell you what it is, a change of mind. God, the apostles, and my fellowship's exhortation to you is to change your mind from the ways of the world, aka the ways of Satan, to the ways of truth which is found in God. And that truth is that God's grace is sufficient for you, me, and everyone in this world. Belief in Jesus is all you need to be saved, and let anyone who comes to you with another gospel be accursed. Galatians 1 and 8. I adjure you to put away spoon-fed, culturally accepted, satanic dribble and embrace the truth of God's word. John chapter 1 and 12. But as many as received him, to then gave him power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. I'm convinced there's only one gospel into salvation, and I pray after this that you are too. To my beloved brethren, grace and peace. God bless.